Hey, good morning, everybody. It's an exciting day around here. I am stratifying persimmon seeds. So these are American persimmons, Diospyros virginiana, and they're in the ebony family, which is this really cool plant family, Ebonaceae. And in front of me, which I'll show you in a minute, I have a whole bunch of seeds. And these seeds need about 60 to 90 days cold moist stratification. And I did a video on cold moist stratification last winter, which I will link to somewhere on this so that you can check that out too if you want to. Today we're just going to do persimmon, so it's going to be real quick. And so these were collected, let me look around here, southern Indiana, right here in Ohio, a bit south of us in Ohio, from northern Indiana, from a friend, Alabama. I think we have a few from Georgia from our last trip. And so there's a wide range of seed variability, which is pretty cool. And so the, that obviously indicates a ton of genetic variability. Some of these will be hardy around here, some won't. Some will be able to deal with the changing climate, others won't. So it's really cool for us to just be able to grow all kinds of seeds from all kinds of areas, of course persimmons, and see what lives and what doesn't. And why are we so excited about persimmons? You all know, we've talked about it a lot. It's this incredible, incredible food. We just discovered it two years ago. Steve had a fruit, oh, Gosh, a long time ago when he used to live in Southern Indiana and it was not ripe. And if you've heard about persimmons, when they're not ripe, they're notoriously mouth puckery or something like that. So I've not had an unripe one. My first bite was incredibly sweet, super flavorful, and so I've been hooked ever since. So that was just two years ago and we just happened to be at the place in Southern Indiana where the persimmons were ripe and it was just magic. Then I started doing research on these fruits and they're really nutritious. They're super high in carbohydrates and sugars, which I know with some diets right now, that's really not very in, but it gives you energy, quick energy. And they're incredibly hardy, these trees. I mean, we have trees that we have seen in Ohio in zone 5A that are fruiting in January. The frost doesn't hurt them. It's also not required for them to be sweet. That's kind of an old folklore piece that is not true. It just is the length of time that a persimmon takes to ripen. And some are real short, some are long. So American persimmons, check them out if you ever get the chance. They're really kind of hard to come by. Go to Southern Indiana at the right time, some other Eastern parts of the US and you will find them. But it's a real niche market at the moment because when they're ripe, they're very, very, very soft and so they're hard to move around and transport. You can find Asian persimmons in the store, and we've done that a lot, and we love them, and I would describe them as really sweet. Some of them are really firm, some are also stringent, that mouth puckery thing that the Americans have going on, but they don't have the flavor, in my opinion, that American persimmons have. They're super sweet, super delicious. I'm not saying don't eat them because I eat them totally, but American persimmons have that added bit of flavor that just makes them truly an incredible native food crop. And the trees are used by all kinds of wildlife, including the hickory horn devil or the royal walnut moth. Look them up. Spectacular. Okay, so I'm going to flip the camera around and I'm going to show you the seeds, how I'm stratifying them this year, and then that's it. And then if you find some persimmons, which you still can do on the ground, you can finish that stratification process. If you want, just leave them outside, and then when you are past your frost-free date, frost -free date, then plant them. So for us, that's about May 15th, so I'm doing these uh, 90 days ahead of time just to be careful, and then I will monitor. If they start sprouting, then I'll figure out what to do then. Otherwise, we're going to sow them in air prune beds in May, which I will show you a video on at that time. Okay, let's turn around. So here is our wide range of persimmon seeds from collecting in 2019 and even a little bit in 2020. And we have them from all over, Southern Indiana, Central Ohio, Northern Indiana, 
Georgia, Alabama, anywhere where we have been, even some very close to us here in Mount Gilead. We don't know if these are planted. They grow on a state route near us and the fruits are awesome. And there's about five trees and super exciting. We were trying to connect with the owners of these trees, but we haven't done so yet. So look around wherever you are. American persimmons are native to the eastern half of the United States. There definitely is kind of a northerly end to that, but I have seen videos on some that are fruiting very well in upstate New York. So take that as you will and know that these are pretty adaptable. And like I said, they're definitely down south. There's some documented ones in Florida that are doing great, so quite a range. There's even uh, Texas persimmons, and then of course in California, a ton of Asian persimmons are grown, I think, in the Central Valley. So I wanted to show you one thing, because this is very interesting. Persimmon seeds, and like many fruits, these are actually a true fruit when it has the flesh on it, uh, but the seeds are genetically unique, so they're not gonna necessarily resemble their parents. They could be very different. And these were collected from the same planting area in Ohio with sweet fruits and super, super sweet fruits. Now the trees look to be all planted at the same time, same kind, but take a look. Definitely difference in seed size, which is really interesting. And these are very firm, big seeds. Now, whether any of these will come true to parents, I don't know yet. We'll find out in seven to 10 years. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but these, I wanted to show you that we've had some in here that are starting to not look so hot. So maybe they weren't great at the beginning, but it's getting pretty wrinkly, looks kind of dried out, and there's even some mold growing. So I'll pick a few of those out. But for this cold, moist stratification, I'm doing 90 days on these just to be sure. If they start sprouting earlier, then I will manage them at that time. But we wanna do the 60 to 90 for sure on persimmon seeds, and cold moist is easy. You just need to be able to keep them either outside for that period of time if you have the right weather, or in a plastic bag with some type of media and a little bit of moisture in your refrigerator. And so, this year, what I'm doing with these, because we have it, is just using a little bit of potting media, and then I put just a tiny bit of water in there. You don't wanna be wringing out water, otherwise the seeds will rot, and then you'll be so sad. So let me show you, okay, my little supplies. This is the some of the leftover organic mechanics potting media that we had from last year. So I'm gonna use that. And I might do a few in what I used last year on other seeds, which is the grana grit. And of course, there's our little bin that we always have with all the extra plastic to put the seeds in. And then if it feels too wet to me on any of these, I might just stick a coffee filter in there to wick away any of the moisture. So the main thing is when you're doing it, just check on them occasionally. Make sure you're not getting a lot of rot going on. If you do have some, pull them out. And if not, then you're good to go. And once you're past your frost free date, plant them. So we like to do them in the air prune beds, which I did a short video on this past year. I will link to that as well. And that's what we're gonna plant all these on because they do have a pretty strong tap root from what we've read. And we even saw that in the air prune bed, but they got gently pruned by the air and then sent out all these beautiful fibrous roots. And then we got them in the ground that same year. So we are going to plant all these, I think. Uh-huh. <laughs> so we're going to have hundreds of bare root persimmons available this fall. And we will definitely ship or you can pick up. But if you come across some of these seeds, which you are very likely to do yet if you are in the eastern U.S. on the ground, they've been stratifying Pick some up, continue the stratification process, and start growing one of the East's most incredible, most delicious native fruits. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments, and I look forward to a world full of a lot more persimmons.